Hey, just a super quick tip if you want to bridge a lot of edges. So I am working here on the steering wheel, right? And what I need now, so on the reference image, we see that we have always this rounding here on the side, right? So just super quick, we need here everywhere some curves. So we have to bridge those two uh, faces, right? So then we can create a nice round uh, loft here. And what I did in the past, I mean, it's not wrong, but it just takes a little bit more time. So I would just shift A, create a curve, right? And create here one curve, right click, then we have here a fillet, so we need two curves here around. Then I would again create some curves. And okay, let me hide this so it's not confusing. Wait, let me hide everything for you. So again, shift A here line and here a line and one more line here. Then I would select them all with shift and then I would start to imprint everything. But you see it's, it's so many clicks and here and I don't know it just looks messy and but then I would start to love that here everything one by one so basically if I would do that everywhere right then I could start here to loft everything and it would would go around and we have here g1 and just to simple update process I don't know why I just realized that recently so you don't have to create one million different curves so it's very often right when i don't know when you have kind of organic shapes or when you want to bring like a nice curved loft around a long um, object but what you can do is you just create one line and this line just goes all around like that and so that's basically it, right? <laughs> so that looks super weird, but we can now with one line imprint onto this surface and select this curve and imprint onto this surface and delete that curve. And bam, voila, we have instantly all of those edges and we saved, I don't know, like 50, cl 20 clicks or something. And then we can very quickly just bridge everything all around here like that, right? And then we can just select all of those curves love them and just squeeze them where we need them this side and this side and we have something like that and we have you see a nice connection here and once you have everything you can just um, select everything and delete random and topology and we have a very nice result and saved a lot of clicks and if you want to learn the full step-by-step -step process of modeling a Porsche 911 from scratch, I've created a brand new course that teaches you industry standard techniques with easy to use plasticity tools. You will master everything from creating precise curves to producing high quality complex surfaces and blending seamless transitions, all broken down into simple steps. So join Join the revolution of 3D modeling in plasticity. Check out first link in the description box and enroll now to experience the power of plasticity like never before and unlock your true creative potential today. First link in the description box. See you in there.